downstairs. Uh-huh. <gasps> Okay. Hello, everyone. We just got back from Iceland. If you could give one word to describe Iceland, what would it be? I'll go first. Wild. Wild in every sense of the way. It was wild in nature, and it was wild in experience. Epic. Epic. The nature is epic. Hey, guys. Where are we going now? To America and Iceland. And after Iceland. That's right. And we have three rules. What are our three rules? Rule number one. Be kind. Rule number two. Rule number three. Yeah. Four, three, family. And three, three, friends. I have a dream I hope will come true. That you're here with me and I'm here with you. I wish that the earth see the sky up above will send me someone to love And then what was unique about this airport? Mm-hmm. The hotel bathroom. It's a two bedroom bathroom with the with the ensuite shower so we literally got in all together sat down there and, ch and just chill <laughs> And are we in an Airbnb now? No. Where are we? In the airport. In the airport. We're in the airport, guys. This is so cool. Let's go. Abba, are we in an Airbnb right now? No, we are in the bathroom. <laughs> What happened to your keeper? It, it got claimed by the wind god of, uh, of Iceland. Okay, so that's the airport. We love the airport. It's very family friendly. And here are three things you need to know before you go to Iceland. One, the weather is very extreme. One minute it can be beautiful and sunny, the next it could be raining or hailing with very strong winds. Now we're younger. People said to me about this journey we call life. Hold on tight to the friends that you make. You don't know what life will throw your way. That brings us to number two. When you make reservations for attractions, just be aware that things might get canceled last minute, but they are very good with refunding you. We have whale watching land on our first day when we just landed. Whale watching got canceled. So we decided to fill in the time with another attraction that we were supposed to do three days later. We called them up and we asked them, can we bump it forward? And they said, yes, no problem. And this is a theme that we saw in Iceland. Everybody's very accommodating when it comes to scheduling because they understand how chaotic the weather and scheduling can be. That is a lot. Hey guys. Wait, it's Papa. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where I'm gonna go when the volcano blows. Round she's moving under me. Yeah. <laughs>
then the third thing is supermarkets and attractions close early. Despite the fact that the sun goes down very late, attractions and, and certain uh, grocery stores will close at around 6 and 7 p.m. And they also open late, somewhere between 9 to 10. Let's quickly talk about the sunrise and sunset because we were there, so we were in Iceland. Yeah. We were in Iceland for Shabbat. And what time was candle lighting? Actual candle lighting was uh, around 10.30, so we did an early Shabbat, which was quarter to nine. End of Shabbat was 1.35 a.m. on Sunday. The two crazy things about Shabbat coming in really late and going out really late is I've never dr driven on Friday at 8 p.m. It was so weird being outside at 8 p.m. and the sun was still alive and well. <laughs> and the second thing was doing Havdalah on... <laughs> doing Abdallah on Sunday morning. It was really cute though because everybody was like awake and we sang and it was, a, it was it did in our little kitchen. <laughs> After Reykjavik we continued south and we stayed at this beautiful little like bungalow. I don't think either of us can pronounce so I'm gonna put, put it here. It's located right here. <laughs> one thing you said we needed to have yeah the raincoats raincoats, raincoats. you got the cutest little raincoats for the kids the cheapest ones 11 bucks for they're three. cheap and they were adorable amazon and you can get them on amazon we'll link it exactly below. Iceland, what's one place for you that was overhyped and one place that was underhyped? What my two? Oh, yeah. So the over the most overhyped place, from my perspective, is the Blue Lagoon. Okay, mm -hmm. I think it's beautiful, but it's a spa. I don't need to go to Iceland to go into a nice spa. So, it, fortunately, yeah. the most underhyped place was this unpronounceable Here. canyon. Oh, you took mine. Literally one of the most gorgeous pieces of landscape that I've seen ever anywhere.
hype for me was Reykjavik. I kind of spend as much time outside of, outside of the capital as possible. Um, and then under hyped, since you took the canyon, uh, that was uh, that was gorgeous, and it was unplanned for us. We didn't plan to do that. Unplanned. My, Be spontaneous. My sec second, my second underhyped is along the same line of things that that you would do like um, spontaneously is the lava fields, the mossy lava fields. If you have any questions about Iceland, drop them in the comments. Budgeting around Iceland, family travel, or just Iceland itself, drop it below and we'll Thanks be happy to Thanks for dropping answer. in, babes. No. <laughs> babes? <laughs> okay. What were we calling them? The people of the vlog. No, travelers. The travelers. Thanks for dropping in, people. Thanks for dropping in, everyone. And we look forward to sharing more of Iceland with you. Peace, Peace. and love.